want to clasp my you hands. Just, you can clasp your hands together if you want. And he reaches out and he touches the door and he goes, oh my God. <laughs> and we ask him, can you feel your finger when you run your hand down the door? And he says, God, that is so cool. And it was as if the hand had become alive. In simple terms, what we're trying to do is to connect a sophisticated, dexterous, motorized, and sensorized hand, and we plug it into the user's own nervous system and neuromuscular system so that the person can move this complicated hand just by thinking about it, and importantly, can get a sense of touch back from the hand and a sense of movement. And that's the moment at which it becomes alive. Somewhat surprisingly, the wires, if you will, the biological wires still work, even though the hand has been amputated. So if we send impulses up those biological wires, they're still plugged into the same place in the brain, and the person feels as if they're coming from his or her fingers.